Hi, welcome to Groundwork Inspections. Today I will be showing you how to create and edit sketches with our program RapidSketch. RapidSketch is a very easy to use tool and is similar to other sketching programs. Regardless if you're familiar with sketching programs or not, you should be able to become proficient in this painlessly. Okay, to start, let's go over some of the basics. First, the black and red cursor is going to show you where you're going to start. This can be moved around with your mouse and or your arrow keys. The key combination control Z will become very useful for undoing your previously done command. You can also use the back and redo keys down in the bottom left hand corner. This can be very useful for fixing a mistake and not having to start all over again. Okay, to start, let's create a line. I like to start on a perpendicular grid plane. So from here, I'm going to hit enter. Either your enter key on your numpad or on your keyboard will work just fine. And if you see underneath, it shows a zero. That's going to be our value. So now let's say I want to make a 40 foot wall. I'm going to type in my value, 40. I'm going to choose my desired location. In this case, I'm going to go to the right. And then I'm going to finish by pressing enter. This will pin it in place and then I can start adding additional walls. Now from here, let's say I want to add a 24 foot right wall. I'm going to type in my value, 24. I'm going to hit the direction, down, and I'm going to hit enter to pin it in place. Now let's say, for example, I'm going to use control Z here and I'm going to undo my two previously done tasks. Now let's say if I hit 24 down and instead of hitting enter, I'm going to hit 40, which would be my next line. It's going to throw off my sketch. In this case, control Z would be very useful. So let's go and continue. 24 down, pressing enter. And then you can see in the bottom left hand side, it's going to show you where it's going to think the next wall is going to end. So in this case, we're going to do 40. I'm going to go to the left and pin it in place by pressing enter. Now our sketching program is a little bit different from other sketching programs. Ours does not have an auto close feature. For this, we can do this in a multitude of ways. We can one, use our mouse to click on this vertex here, which will close a sketch. We can use our arrow keys and go all the way up. But in this case, I find it just easier to type in the enumeration or the value, pick my direction and press enter. After hitting enter, you will be, and completing a geometric shape, you will be prompted with this, area templates. Now you can select and designate what you just created as a level, as a deck, porch, patio, garage, etc. For this, and for example purposes, I'm going to pick first floor. Now we have our first floor for our basic looking house. Now let's say I want to attach a two car garage on the right hand side. For this, I can do this uh, by creating the garage on the outside and then moving it in, or I can start on the line here and then create it off of the house directly. So let's start the former first. I'm gonna select where I want to start. I'm gonna hit enter to pin it. I'm going to hit my value, my direction, and pin that in place. It's going to be a very basic two car garage. Here, I'm going to choose an attached garage, two cars. Now, if I click on this geometric shape, it's going to highlight it purple. If I click this, it's going to highlight it purple. With this, I can then move this geometric shape with my arrow keys. Now, alternatively, you can also start this on a wall. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to click on my wall. And then I have my cursor again. Now say I want to start my garage here. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit 20, 20, 20, and then 20. So you can do this in a few different ways. Now let's create the second floor. Let's say that this is a very standard two story home. So I'm going to hit grab this, I'm going to hit control and then C 
to copy this. I'm going to then select my area, and then I'm going to hit Control and V to paste. Now, I'm going to then move this in place. Now, be aware that you cannot move this with your mouse, unfortunately. However, let's say that there's an overhang on this. We can then select individual walls, change the shape, change the depth, or delete them entirely if you want to create something else. We can also change what floor this is by clicking on the actual label itself. In the bottom right hand corner, this is where we can then change the name. So let's say hypothetically we want to actually call this the third floor. We can do that and then hit enter. This is now the third floor. Or we can then remove this and change it back. All right. So let's say we wish to create a bay window, something that requires a little more finesse with the actual angles. So I want to create a bay window on the left-hand side of this home. I'm going to click on the wall. I'm going to hit delete. So I'm going to finish down the below wall. And let's say I'm going to go up 10 feet. Now I wish to start my bay window. This works with all angles. So I'm going to hit three. I'm going to hit the left. And before I hit enter to pin that there, I'm going to type in my angle. So 45. These two angles on the left hand side will determine what angle it's going to be. So I've hit the left one, it will turn it there. I'm going to hit enter to pin it in place. I'm going to do my next wall. I'm going to hit three again to finish this guy off. But before I hit enter again, I'm going to put in the value for the degrees again. Now I'm going to put, hit enter to place it in place. And I can use my mouse, or I can use my arrow keys to then close up the sketch. Now, let's say that we wish to create a convex or concave wall. I'm going to zoom in here. In the middle of these measurements, there's going to be a blue dot, an anchor. Here, we can select one and then adjust it with our arrow keys, either to the left or to the right. The GLA will automatically calculate itself. Now, let's say we want to add room labels, as they are required for Fannie Mae orders. Let's say I want to put a kitchen right here. We're going to go to the right hand side. So we have a blue pencil that's highlighted. We're going to highlight the L. This is going to allow us to put labels. If I scroll down, say I want to put a kitchen here. I'm going to move my cursor here and I'm going to place a living room. Put a, another one here. I'm going to put a foyer a family room, and a dining room. And on the second floor, I'm going to place bedroom, bedroom, a bath, and a master bedroom, and another bath. Now you should have become very proficient in this. Once you hit save, this will automatically upload onto your report that you're working on and adjust the GLA accordingly. If you go into the upper right hand corner and show get metrics, up here it will show you your gross living area. Now, as you can see, it's not including the garage because of the template that we chose. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the Groundwork support team. Thank you and have a good day.